I am so excited today because I'm going to be making homemade pasta for the first time. I'm going to be an Italian Nona today. You're watching the Beer Pantry Show. Before I get into how I made the dough, let me show you that I'm using this machine for the very first time and obviously I don't know what I'm doing because I'm wrecking this dough, but hang tight because I get it right before the video ends, okay? So I'm starting first of all by grabbing some flour. We're supposed to use that double zero flour, but I don't have any, so the video that I watched says that we can use all-purpose flour and I'm gonna sift it. But before that, let me turn this camera on. Listen to this camera. It's obnoxious, isn't it? This is why I don't use that camera for talking, only for my hands. All right, so let me sift it. And then in the video, it says I'm supposed to make a well in the middle of this flower, and it's called a volcano, I guess. But to me, it feels like a moat, or it feels like a lagoon, because a lagoon is a body of water surrounded by land, and I feel like that's what we have here. Because in the middle of this, I'm gonna be cracking an egg, all right? So let me go ahead and get my can of refried beans. This is my monopod, guys. Put the camera here so you guys can see. I'm doing a behind the scenes while I'm doing pasta for the first time. So I'm getting my egg, and that's when I realized that the guy used two eggs. And I'm thinking, why did he use two eggs? Oh, because he used two cups of flour. So I'm gonna have to go grab another cup of flour. Hang on, guys. So he says, for every cup of flour, you need one egg. So I'm gonna do two cups of flour and two eggs, okay? So let me go ahead and add the flour in the perimeter. I didn't even sift it, but you know, whatever. The guy didn't say that you had to sift it. I was the one doing that. So let's clean up our middle here again, our well, our volcano, our moat, our little lagoon. So we just wanna build a wall with the flour. And then now crack the eggs. That's the first one. The second one. And then I'm going to add some pink Himalayan sea salt very liberally. And then I'm going to grab a fork and beat the eggs so it'll be easier for me to incorporate the flour into the egg, okay? Or into the eggs. All right, so start working the flour a little bit at a time. So I'm just grabbing from the insides and leaving the outside of the flour alone. We don't want to grab too much from the outside because we're going to break our barrier and all this egg is going to roll off of the cutting board and onto the countertop. So this is fairly simple, right? Use the fork and just add the flour a little bit at a time. Are you guys liking the behind the scenes type shots that I'm showing you. I have the camera on the dinner table. So work it in, so sticky. So I'm gonna set the fork aside and use my hand. You guys know I like to do this, right? I like to mess with flour. Let's work it in, it's still so very sticky. So I have to be patient with it. I'm moving the camera around so you guys can see. I'm gonna put it right here on the cutting board. You guys can have this point of view. And just keep adding the flour from the inner circle of our little barrier that we have. I'm trying to get it off my hands. I'm gonna move the camera yet again so you can get this angle. It's not easy to do this because there's nobody here to help me and I have to touch the camera a lot with my floured hand so a lot of the times I have to clean flour out of my camera when I'm done but I do anything for you guys to get a different angle so you're not bored. So I've washed my hands and I'm drying them. Goodness, who's driving down the street crazy like that? And I'm just gonna knead. I'm trying to like press it out with the heel of my hand, bring it back in towards me, turn it. If all you can do is rock it back and forth to get it smooth, that's okay too, all right? Don't let that part stress you. So I'm still trying to make sure it's not too sticky now I'm going to go ahead and put it in some plastic wrap because we have to let this rest for at least 20 minutes and not in the fridge, right? Right here on the countertop. It was still sticky so I put some more flour and I'll fold this up. I'm going to set this aside and I've decided I'm going to use the remaining flour with another egg 
and some salt. I'm setting the timer for 20 minutes. I'm going to use that flour to make some more just so we can have some to play with. By the way, guys, thank you so much for picking up my mom's book that I just finished and published at Amazon. You guys are so amazing. Stay tuned for a quick little excerpt from the book. Then we're going to come right back to making the pasta. Kent was riding his bike on the highway that fateful day when a huge truck struck him and crushed him. It is believed that he died instantly at the very moment I heard that voice yell from the front yard, Rosalie! Okay guys, the bottom part's okay because I put flour on the bottom, but the top part feels a little bit sticky. So I'm just going to put some flour on that. And then I'm going to get my bench scraper. By the way, I made some um, Alfredo sauce. I used the powdered coconut milk because I didn't have anything in the tin. And I just put some butter, saute some onion, put some garlic powder. And then I, th I oh, did some mushrooms, pour the milk in. And then I put Parmesan cheese and Dutch cheese. And I didn't have to put any... Um, what do you call the thing? No corn starch. It kind of thickened up on me. Real good. So, I got a third. What I was saying just now before Jada came in and interrupted is that I cut the dough into thirds. So, I rolled this into a ball, squished it with a rolling pin for a little bit, and then I'm putting it into the machine. But I'm messing up because the video that I watched, the guy used an adapter for his KitchenAid. And he says, don't start at um, 7, start at 1. So I'm starting at 1 and this machine is different. And so it's like super thin and it started to tear the dough. So Jada's going by. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and continue pushing it through the, um, the, the machine, I guess. And then I'm just going to go ahead and re-knead this whole thing, make it into a ball, squish it with a rolling pin, and come right back here to try again. Okay? See how it's tearing? You guys, we set it on one, but I think one is too thin. And the thing was too sticky. Okay. That's once. Oh, I forgot he folded it. I was watching that guy. So he said, he said what he did was fold it like this. So now you could get it like come out square or more rectangular. Okay. Watch your sucker drop on the floor. <laughs> See, it's more rectangular. No, but go again. Yeah. And then you could change the setting. I think I can get good at this. I really do think I can get good at this. It is fun. All right, so it's still thick. So we're going to change it to six. We're at six. This still has to cook, you know, guys. What do you think, Joe? Can you thin a hand? Change it to one. Hit to one was like it broke it up just now. We'll change it to another number now. And he said when you start getting to thin, use the back of your hand so your fingers won't get it. So then five. You see how it's stretching? I know. Looks like we know what we're doing. Not good, no? After getting the pasta thin enough, I try to put it into one of the slots to cut it into strips, but it's not working because the dough is too sticky, so I'm trying to unwind it to get it out. And then what I have to do is just re-roll it again, get it in some flour, uh, bring the dough back together, make it into a ball, squish it with the rolling pin for a little bit, and then start again. See how it is? It's clumped together. It didn't really split apart. So now I'm back. And we're going to try to put it in the other slot. 
and it's still not working because the dough is still too wet it's still too sticky so Joshua came to investigate and he's thinking this knob has something to do with why it's not cutting but it's it doesn't so see it's still the dough too sticky but look we did it we got the dough dry enough so I'm gonna use that last piece of dough that I did for the second batch right and I'm trying to get it to where it's not too sticky so this is something that I'm going to have to practice when I do this again to make sure that the dough is not too sticky. So this is how I start it and I just put it through on 7 and you can put it through several times on the 7 setting or you could put it through like twice and then switch the setting to 6. The lowest setting that I did was a 5. My little windy thing came out. So I'm on the 5 right now and I'm just putting it through over and over again I'm getting more um, comfortable with this see how it's getting longer and thin just put it through again I'm not even asking for assistance from Joe this time and now we're gonna try to cut but womp womp it's still too sticky guys see it didn't cut but look now, it's cutting. I got it dry enough. Yes, hallelujah, I got it dry enough. <laughs> oh my goodness, now we can boil this. Get some water boiling, put some salt in it, and throw that sucker in. This is the fat one that I did. The first batch that I did, I had to cut with a knife. I didn't tell you guys that. I had to cut it with a knife because I couldn't get the machine to cut. But now here's the skinny one. Spaghetti, guys. Look, we have spaghetti. I think the first one could be called like linguine and they need to boil for like 10 minutes instead of 8 minutes I set the timer for 8 minutes but they needed 10 minutes see fat skinny and skinnier and I put it together with that alfredo sauce mmm it is so delicious this is the Beth Angie show inside I got hot with all that boiling of the noodles so I came to sit outside take a look guys this is the skinny one with the Alfredo sauce. I will definitely make pasta over and over again. I'm gonna get the dough right next time. The dough was just a little bit too moist while the machine had trouble cutting, but once we figured it out, it was all she wrote. Mm. Mm, 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 mm.